Okay, good morning my fellow seamen. Today we'll be tackling about the Seagull CBT test. Again, the CBT test of the Seagull. Our first topic is all about personal safety. Okay, with a code number CD0001. So let's start. First, we open the topic. So first question is all about accidents happen for a reason. Based on what you have seen in this module, what would you say if the cause most accidents at sea? So we open that. Just uh, the actions that people take, so-called human element. So that's the answer. Number two, according to the most authorities, what is the cause of most accidents at sea? Oh, the answer is the human element. Number three, according to the International Chamber of Shipping, what are the three keys components developing an effective safety culture? Select the three correct answers. So you have to select the three correct answers. So we have the correct answers, which is one, commitment from top management. Number two, measuring current performance and behavior. And number three, modifying behavior. So that's the correct answers. And number four, according to this module, where does the ship safety culture begin? The answer is... The safety and familiarization tour when joining the ship. Okay. Question number five. According to this module, why is the galley a potentially dangerous place? So why it is a dangerous place? The answer is because there is a greater risk of slips, trips, and falls. And there are many other additional hazards. Okay. So next question anyone joining a vessel that they are not familiar with should be given a safety equipment and familiarization tour according to this module where does this requirement come from so it came from the ism code and stcw so you are required to be familiarized on board when joining Okay. Next question. Anyone joining a vessel that they are not familiar with should be given a safety equipment and familiarization tour. Which of the following should this include? Select any answer that you think apply. So, there are four answers. Alarm signal and master station. Firefighting equipment life-saving appliances and any security duties that they have okay how can accidents happen even when the correct procedures are followed okay the answer is if there are any holes or weakness in procedures accidents can still happen in some circumstances that's a correct answer. Next, if you need to use a chemical cleaning agent, where can you find complete information about any potential hazards and precautions? Okay, the answer is the safety data sheet of the product. That's the answer. Next, in a lock out tag out system. What is the main purpose of lock and tag? So what is the purpose of that? The answer is to prevent anyone else making equipment you are working on dangerous by trying to restart or re-energize it. Okay? That's the main purpose of lock out, tag out. Next, what operations that does the ism code cover so it covers operations which could affect safety or cause pollution 
Next, when working on electric equipment, we need to have it isolated. What does this mean? Okay, we have created a physical separation between the electricity supply and the item to be worked on. So that's the main purpose. Next, what operations does the ISIM code cover? Operations which could affect safety and cause pollution. So it's already finished. Which of the following are the evidence of poor safety culture on board ship? Select any options that you think apply. Okay, two questions, two, two answers. People not paying attention to safety briefings. And number two, no security procedures of the gangway. Next question. Why do people need familiarization training every time they join a new ship? So, a new ship. Join a new ship. So, the answer is because the content of familiarization training will change depending on the type of the ship and their job on board. Next, why sh should near miss incidents be reported? So, the answer is to avoid accidents and injuries in the future. So, that is all for now about personal safety. If you want uh, to know more, just come to my uh, YouTube account and you can comment down below if you want any topic to be posted by me at your service okay so if you think this uh, video is helpful and you gain something knowledge you can like this video and please subscribe for more that so that you will be updated for more video tutorials thank you and safe sailing my fellow seafarer